welcome again to my channel in this video I will show you how to create your CV using Overleaf website as a brief introduction latex is a tool used to create professional looking documents where you only have to focus on the contents and the computer will take care of the formatting and the visual appearance now Overleaf is an online latex editor Please don't worry, you don't need to know anything about LaTeX to get started. You can simply edit the text and see your changes uh, displayed at the same time in the PDF. We will go through all the steps in details together. So beside it is easy to use, Overleaf provide a lot of templates that I find really helpful. So you don't need to start from scratch even, you just need to pick one template, make the edit, customize it and export it as PDF in the end. Before we start, I would like to take a second to ask you for support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you like this content. So now let's get started. Go to the website overleaf.com, you will find the link in the description as well. And first thing, you have to make an account. It is very simple. I would recommend that you use your Google. I click on register using Google. Now I'm logged in since I have uh, registered already. This interface will appear where you will, you should see all your projects. Now, we go directly to explore all the templates. In Overleaf Gallery, you can see other kind of templates. I personally used it for creating my cover letter also and for writing my end of study report. For us, we will go to CV Resume. As you can see here, there is a lot of options you can go through them all and pick what you like. For now, in today's video, I already picked uh, a template that we will work with. It is called Curriculum Vitae Template. Let's look for it. I should go back to templates where I can find the search here. And it is this template. After that, this page will appear where you have three options. Open as template, view source, view PDF. What we need to do is to open as template. And then new window will appear. It consists of three sections. First on the left where you find all the files. For example, here we have the LaTeX uh, code, but also you can attach uh, and upload your photo later and you can divide the LaTeX uh, into files, but we don't need to do that. For now, we will just go as simple as possible and we focus on creating our CV. The second, next to it, it represents the source code of LaTeX where we can edit and customize the document. And the last one here is the visualization of the document as PDF where you can observe the changes uh, that we make and in the end you can download it as PDF as well. I just want to show you how it is really simple and need no knowledge to start with this so for example let's change the name here and then click to recompile so the latex will update this PDF based on the changes we made here And you can see here that the name changed so every time you make 
a change here you need to recompile to see the update and as a shortcut for this recompile you just need to press ctrl plus s as a save but not like this when you are in the website you need to make sure to press it when you are clicking here in the editor okay now this become our project here and we are free to do the changes we want on this template so as I talked in the previous video how to create your German CV the CV is composed by sections or part the first one is the personal information let's start with changing the personal information section here okay so first thing is the name we already changed the name then job title but since we don't have here we will add a new lane we just simply copy this which represent a new lane here and give the job title like for example let's say software engineer then we put the date of birth which I will leave this uh, sample then we add the nationality for example Tunisia then we put our address you can see here the zip code and the city it is enough you don't need to write the exact address including your house uh, number then your phone number as you can see here it is a local phone number so if it is an international number you have to add for example the country code here then here the email so let's recompile and see what we did as you can see here we have the name the title and the rest of the uh, personal information we can make a, a change here like to get the job title just under the name and leave a space after the personal information yes makes sense okay so this is about the top side here there is no image uh, attached but we can do that by uploading an image here and attaching it in the link which it should be here so in order to add an image we need first to upload an image to uh, and put it here we can select it from here okay so now I have an image I will make the name easier okay let's go back to our file so simply you see here this part is uh, the include graphics it is our image so what you need to do is instead of example image we will just give the name you don't even need to type the extension and you can see here it is recognizing the image that we have there so you can just click here and recompile and there it should be your image simply as this you can change the position of the image and you can change the size so this is all about the personal information 
it is as simple as this you don't have to make anything extra and I chose this template because it is simple and good and I personally use it after this personal information actually before we move to the next section there is a, an optional part which is the profile or as I name it personal statement I will simply add this before here and right after the personal information I will add a new part and name it personal statement and this will appear right after the personal information okay after the personal statement comes the work experience but here in this example we have the education so we will change this we will bring the work experience here which is this we will take it with the tag it's okay just to keep it clear for us and now we will have work experience and as I mentioned in the previous video again sometimes you have a lot of work experience and you want just to select some of your work experience in front of work experience you write just selected so the reviewer will know that this is a selected list of your work experience okay for now it is an example so we will not go through all the details here but here why it is not showing the details it should show this sample task three times under it let's see oh yeah so I think the the time entry is not defined but the time entry focus is defined yes exactly in this case it should show it but again not as sharp as it is we can simply here after mentioning the date of start and end the name of the company and the position now we need to list the tasks we did at this position I will simply show you how to write the tasks first task and we just describe what we did and then to go back to a new line we simply use to back slash second task in the same way third task and we save here and you can see this is how it should look it's okay to be to write a sentence here but try to reduce and be precise so this start from 2017 till 2018 and as I told you that we should list it in chronological order so you start with the most recent let's say junior 
developer for example at central asia hmm? and let's say that you started well let's be realistic and let's say that you started in the summer for example or as i start with my company in october and you can say until today for example or after actually this one should be there and not go to the other line so yeah it should be like this then comes the education we will not change it as I showed you here you can do the same for the education and then come the skills and qualifications and interests so the last sections so what I would do I would simply bring something from my old CV so we'll copy this and we come to skills and qualifications and change all of this here Now you can see our example for the CV, very simple, very easy to edit and to update and every time you can simply log in to your Overleaf account and update it as simple as this. In the end after you finish, last step is to download it. You simply download this PDF and you open it and this is your CV I would recommend in the end that you always name the CV with your first name and last name I really hope you find this video interesting for you and this could actually help you to create your own CV for free and in a simple way. If you have any question or request, make sure to leave a comment or if you prefer, you can send me an email. I will make sure to answer you as, as soon as possible. If you like the video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for listening and see you soon in the next video. Cheers!